So I did the volume of basketball, men versus women. So um, it's everybody knows like the circumference of the women's versus men's basketball. A women's basketball is 28.5 inches. A men's basketball is 29.5 inches. So I just uh, solved for the radius to get the radius. And then so this is the equation of a sphere without using calculus. So I just used it so I could find the relative error and. Um, and compare my answer to make sure I did it right. Um, so this is basically what we're going to be doing is um, like a demonstration of the disk method. So we're going to be doing um, about the horizontal, so this one. Yep. <laughs> and then this is just a demonstration of how like how it would look like with a sphere. So you're going to find all the disks from one end to the other. But then for mine, I only get it from um, zero to the radius. And then I just multiplied it by two because then you have to get this half of the sphere. This is my math. Um, so uh, this is the equation for um, a circle. And you take the square root of it to solve for y. And then this is going to be your, um, so r value, which is like just basically um, my radius squared, or rate, sorry. Then you take the, so your volume is going to be pi r squared because that's the equation for a circle. And you just take the derivative of that. And then your r value for, I'm doing my women's. The R value was 4.54 inches, and then you square it, higher and square it, you get 20.6. And then for your volume of the sphere, um, I chained it down here, but this is how you would normally set up with, um, without like changing it to zero, because then you have your pi times your radius squared. And then for R, right here, I substituted this in here, because, um, and then so it's 20.6 times M squared. And then for here, I did it 0 to 4.54, and then just multiplied by 2 pi and just moved this pi out. So it's um, easier to do, because then you don't have to put in a value. You can just put in this one and then multiply it by 2 pi. And then you take the antiderivative, so 20.6x, and then x to the third over 3. And then you put 4.54 into all these values. And then this is, the 0 value is going to be all 0, so you don't need to worry about it. And then you get 20.6 times 4.54 minus 4.54 cubed over 3. And then you get 62.33, and then you have to multiply it by the 2 pi. And then this is what I got. And I rounded here, so there's going to be a little bit of relative error. This is my graph of the circle. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and then this is the percent change. So. Um, final minus initial divided by initial times 100, all absolute value. So then um, subtracted it times 100, my uh, relative error is about 11%. Okay, so this is So why are women's basketballs smaller than men's basketballs? Women are generally smaller built than men. Um, it allows them to increase their shooting range because we usually have less muscle mass than men do, and we can make faster passes because it's lighter. Um, it increases the overall pace of the game. Women tend to take longer times on each side of the court than men do. Typically, men go back and forth a lot more during the duration of a whole game versus women. Um, women tend to shoot from farther distances than men do, so they have to adjust the size of the ball to fit that. Um, they have more accurate control because women obviously have smaller hands, so the ratio of the size of their hand to the ball is about the same to men's, so they can have more control over the ball when they shoot. Uh, yeah. And then each ball is proportional to each gender. Um, men tend to score closer to the rim, and then women tend to score outside of the paint more often because girls tend to not like contact. <laughs> um, 
other differences. The three-point shot, the three-point line is different lengths for men and women at collegiate and professional levels. Uh, scoring, men tend to be more fast-paced and women tend to um, take their time on each side of the court. And uh, the playing style for women tends to be more methodical and calculated versus the male style tends to be more fast-paced. Men have better percentages in the paint, however, the free throw percentage for men and women is about the same. Despite, Mr. Ratter, despite my free throw percentage, men and women is about the same. <laughs> So, um, current events, this, is, um, this happened this year. There was a lot of issues with the NCAA and how different the women were treated versus the men. So I have a link of USA Today about it. So this is just an article basically talking about how different, um, like it's a bunch of different players talking about how um, like they felt like not included and how like differently they were treated compared to the men. So it's in which one is mine? Which, which one? Mine. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so this is the girl that basically kind of started the movement. Her name is Sedona Prince. So she posted a TikTok about how like showing video footage of uh, what the women had access to, like facilities, food. Um, their hotel rooms versus and then showed pictures of what the men had and it basically blew up on TikTok and it like spread like wildfire and everybody went crazy about it. She now has I think it's like 7 million followers on TikTok. So these are some pictures comparing how the NCAA is very sexist. <laughs> um, this is the weight room that the men got. There's obviously a ton of weights and stuff. This is what the women got, a rack of dumbbells and yoga mats. <laughs> this is also the difference in the go bags that each player got. So um, the women, obviously, and there's the men's. This is Mr. Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> He's going that way because he can't see where the women <laughs> <laughs> this is your problem. Very good. Very nice. Look at the lights, Ben.